How's it going, everybody? Brian Rashap down here with my buddy Marty Schwartz from GuitarJams.com. Uh, giving you another little bass line here that maybe you, uh, you could learn and, and, and throw into your, your uh, quiver of tricks. Okay, so this is a Ray Charles inspired uh, soul or R&B groove that uh, really utilizes you know blues progression and then also this uh, this almost box pattern um, fingering thing so <laughs> check this out real quick I'm gonna play it for you slow and then I'll walk through all the um, all the different notes that you're playing So we're staying down here. This isn't the key of G, so you got a G or whatever chord. Um, it's going to utilize a G chord, C chord, and a D chord in a typical blues fashion. Um, the first note's going to be the root, which is a G, which is the third fret on the E string. Second note is going to be a D, which is the fifth fret of the A string. So third note's going to be third fret of the D string. And the fourth note is going to be the fifth fret of the D string. So right here you've kind of got that pattern. It's almost a box. It's all within these this little area. You don't you, there's no movement in your hand. You don't need to you don't need to move anywhere or anything. You can stay in this little pattern, this nice little neighborhood. Uh, and let's finish out the groove. So, so you got, you're kind of going to mimic that entire thing. Going back down to the third fret of the E string, that G, the fifth fret of the A string. And now you're just going to add a couple notes to, for, for flare. You, you need four pieces of flare. That's it. This is all together now. Slow, we'll do tempo, and then we'll do the other chords. That's it. So after you play that on the G chord, you're going to move up to the C chord. Same thing. It's all the same, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 3rd fret, 5th fret. And that's for your C chord, and then you go back to the G. And then you go to the D, which is the 5th fret of the A string. And at that point, I'm going to want you to move your hand up into that position. So that's really the only movement you're, you're needing in this progression. Same thing. down to that first chord, the G. So let me just play the groove for you a little bit slow and then I'll bring it up to speed. And that's it. Feel free to add your own little uh, hiccups and uh, have a good time. See you next time.